Welcome back. Another episode of Mindfulness Moments. I'm going to choose a card from uh, the Everyday Peace Cards, Thich Nhat Hanh, and then uh, expand upon it. Today's card, Seeking What Is Already There. At the moment of his awakening at the foot of the Bodhi tree, the Buddha declared, how strange. All beings possess the capacity to be awakened, to understand, to love, to be free. Yet they allow themselves to be carried away on the ocean of suffering. He saw that day and night we're seeking what we already we're seeking what is already there within us. All beings have the capacity for awakening. I love that word awakening because it means to wake up. It means to wake up of this dream, this sleep state. Wake up from our dream that our delusions are real. The Buddha says that 98% of our perceptions are wrong. Imagine that. Imagine that what we perceive to be true is actually false. Why do we choose to stay in this ocean of suffering? Why can't we allow ourselves? Why can't we allow ourselves to be free, to wake up? To let go of our deluded ideas, to let go of our deluded thoughts, and to just be. Just be. Can you accept the fact that we choose our suffering? That it's not something oppressed upon us, it's not something that's given to us, it's not something that's forced upon us. That we have the choice. We have the choice to let it go. The choice to seek peace, to seek awakening. That which is inherent in us. That which is available right here, right now. All beings possess the capacity to be awakened, to understand, to love, to be free. Yet they allow themselves to be carried away. I feel that part of the reason we get so caught up in our suffering, in our melodrama, in the story that we tell ourselves of our unworthiness, of our separateness, it has to do in part with our survival instincts. And we were hunters and gatherers. We needed to know, we needed to experience certain pains so that we could avoid them. But those were physical pains. 
not the emotional pains we put on ourselves. As we've evolved, as we've come to this 21st century with this social media, these cameras, these cell phones, we have so much distraction. We have so much technological development, but we've lost sight of these basic truths. We've lost sight of the fact that all beings possess the capacity to be awakened, to understand, to love, to be loved. spoken a bit on this channel about the interconnectedness it's that attachment to a separate self to think that we are separate from the universe that we are separate from the rest of the world that causes us pain that causes us suffering. When we can understand that we're all connected, that we all have the seeds, we all have the seed to be a great person, to be a loving person, to be a caring person, or we have the seed to be angry, to be depressed, to be full of hatred, we have to choose which seeds we want to water. We have to choose which seeds we want to water, not only in ourselves, but those seeds we wish to water in others. So that we can all bloom like the lotus, emerge from the muddy water with purity like a lotus. It's paradoxical. It's that simple, but it's that difficult. The difficulty lies in the ego mind. The difficulty lies in us feeling that, oh no, it can't be that. But we know it can be. Deep down, we felt those moments where we know that it's just that simple. So what is the real awakening? Awaken from the dream of delusion. Awaken from the should of could have, would have. Zen poems, Zen paintings are very simple. Right now it's cloudy. In the next moment it could be sunny or it could be stormy. We can't concern ourselves with the future. We have to concern ourselves with right now. We have to plant the seeds and to the garden of our mind and to the garden of our heart. And believe and trust. Be compassionate towards ourselves, be compassionate towards others. Find that practice that works for you. The seated meditation, the walking meditation, jogging meditation, lifting weights meditation, swimming meditation. Whatever it is that makes you feel connected to that higher self, that big self, that universal self.
not the small separate ego self. Try, if you can, to drop from your mind during those days, during those moments. Your mind seems so agitated and so moving around. Drop from that into your heart. Follow your breath. Listen to the rhythm of the heart. Follow the breath. Be in the moment. Know that this too will pass. We no longer have to allow ourselves to be carried away on the ocean of suffering. We can arrive at the other shore. Thank you for joining. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and comment and share. We'll see you next week.